those who are ignorant have uttered curses but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of all that exists so what treatment should we who are full of faults expect from people you will always have to face criticism which in its own spot is like an interminable Choose no self ending. As long as you shine, give, produce, and have an effect upon others, then disapproval and condemnation will be yours. Not in life. Until you escape from people by finding a tunnel in the ground or a ladder leading to the sky, they will not desist from censoring you from finding fault in your character. For that reason, as long as you are from the denizens of the earth, respect to the heads, to be insulted and to be criticized. Here is something to contemplate. A person who is sitting on the ground does not fall. And people who do not kick a dead dog Therefore, their anger towards you can be attributed to your surpassing them in righteousness, knowledge, manners, and the likes. In their eyes, you are a transgressor whose wrong cannot be atoned for unless you abandon your talents and strip yourself of all praiseworthy qualities so that you become stupid, worthless, and to them, no cause. This result is exactly what they want for you. So remain firm and patient when facing their insults and criticism. If you are wounded by their words and let them have an influence over you, you will have realized their hopes for them. Instead, forgive them by showing them the most beautiful of manners. Turn away from them and do not feel distressed by their schemes. Their disapproval of you only increases your own wealth and merit. Verily, you will not be able to silence them. But you will be able to bury their criticism by turning away from them. And dismissing what they have to say. See, perish in your rage. In fact, you will be able to increase them in their rage by increasing your merits and developing your talents. If you desire to be accepted by all and loved by all, you desire the untainable. 